most of the people I reached out to were people like my cousins from here or back home. Like, um, like my cousin that I grew up with and the cousins here that I've gotten closer with. Like, that was a good source of reaching out. Um, probably because, like, considering what I know, me and my friends have been through. Like, um, even if it's just to check up on, like, random people that you're mutuals with online and stuff, it's a good way to make sure people are okay. Um, mostly, uh, Instagram, just because, like, it doesn't really have a set age in most of the people that I know, like, young and old and in between, like, all have an Instagram account. It's like an easy way because you can message, call, photos and stuff. I saw Māori, Samoan, Tongan, Fijian, local home businesses creating food goods to support their family. I saw businesses collaborating on a level that we haven't seen before and local not-for-profit organisations supporting one another to get through this time and to promote local, small, Pacifica, Māori businesses. Um, that was, for me, one of the greatest things I've seen in a long time. And leading on from that, the community support, support for the business, but also the businesses coming out to figure out ways to get food to our community, to, to come up with, you know, getting pushed into that next technological age of using Uber Eats, of using these different types of delivery methods, um, that sort of push and pull, afi mai afi atu sort of buzz. Also on top of that, in terms of family support, we see more of the community cohesion happening in this time because unfortunately, tragedy leads to us sort of standing up and, and, and joining together to sort of fight that common evil. Uh, and that's been happening all across Melbourne, um, especially in the West. Uh, we see also the in the immediate family and the houses themselves, the actual family downtime serving good as well as bad, but I want to talk about the good stuff. I want to talk about, you know, having our families spend time with each other, having our families connect at a different level, our young ones being able to teach our elders how to use Zoom, how to use Teams, how to connect via FaceTime in a way that we haven't seen before, which, which has increased somewhat some of the capacity to meet. Um, by all means, it's not something that we want to do forever, but for now, it was beautiful to be able to see our community adapt in that way and to take it on and to sort of roll with it head first. We were seeing things like karaoke nights, um, you know, sort of karaoke roulette of who had to sing what song, um, people jumping on and watching the rugby together. Um, we saw families supporting families in quarantine and isolation at times, um, calling in every second hour just to check on people, see how they're doing, are you okay, how are you, all those sort of things. Um, so for me, Yes, the positives, 100%. I love it that our community is so adaptive. We're so able to just take something negative and turn it into something positive. Like, it can be cool, like, a lot of the times, but sometimes it can, like, get in the way and start arguments and stuff. And then we always end up fixing it because, you know, besties. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree. We're very similar in attitude and, like Hammer said, sarcasm. Sometimes when we're playing around, I have to remind her to read the room because there's a difference between, okay, now I really need you to do the washing and <laughs> oh, it's okay, you can give it another five minutes. So um, I don't think we clash too much, especially during that long period. But yeah, we had some throwdowns. <laughs> Is there anything that you guys do physically together, like physical activity? Um... Um, we started doing uh, modake together, which is a good way of exercising. And mum just finished doing like a 35 day hard, and I was helping her, so I was supporting her through most of it. And with modake, it's like I help her with the physical stuff, she helps me with the Maori speaking stuff, and it's a good understanding. Yeah, I think so too. And um, part of it is we. It's, with Ngamatai Pūrua, we're a kapahaka entity, so um, a lot of the physical stuff I can't do personally, and so I ask Hammer to help me with that. So sometimes I'll sing and she'll be in front of the camera or in front of the, the kids, and she does the, the actions and the physical moving, so I can do that, because doing it both at the same time is a little bit difficult. But uh, yeah, I think we've, we have a good understanding when we're helping other people but we probably could have you know gone for walks more or walked the dog a little bit more but yeah I think it was about um, living in each other's space and yeah, 
Rodako is a good one. Like, oh, it's easy to talk with her because, you know, she's smart. So you like, you just have to tell her what you're doing. She'll tell you what she's doing. And you just roll with it. And then it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you do the second <laughs> part. I got it. Sounds a bit cheesy, but I like spending time with um, my daughter. So that was definitely a pro, like doing stuff together that's just for the two of us, where we're both learning. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a pro. And then um, I do the last one is, and um, we can just like chill together. Like I know, so like some of my friends are like talking about their parents, like, oh yeah, she does this, she does that. Like, I don't know, she's just chill. Well, I feel like through lockdown, I genuinely got closer with my mom. Because like, you know, every kid is always going to be close with their parents. But like, it got to a point where like, I can joke about her and like, we can do, um, we can do stuff and just laugh about it instead of, you know, taking it too serious. Yeah. Yeah, and I learned about how um, smart Hammer is and how dependent her friends are on her and her family members are on her in terms of um, she's definitely uh, a stable person in her group um, from what I can see and that um, she's always, yeah, she gives really good advice. So that's, that's true. <laughs>